Hey, everybody, Heidi here. I'm going to be painting something really cool, something kind of um, a little bit different, but also the same. And I just want to share a free gift with y'all as well. So as you come on, go ahead and say hello. Um, I'm going to be, this is a ginormous canvas. So I'm going to be doing something kind of um, hopefully cool. We will know soon if it is cool or not. So as you come on, go ahead and say hi. Let me know you're here. And then I'll kind of walk you through what I'm trying to do as I do it, okay? Hey, everybody. Go ahead and say hi as you come on. This is an electric pink. And I just put some paint on there. I'm just going to kind of get this bright electric pink. Oh, man. I'm going to get it all over the charging cords everywhere. And then I'm going to show you an easy way to make a snowman. Hello, Susie. Hey, Lisa. Hey, BFS. Hello, hello. Thank y'all so much for being here. I'm so happy you're here. And um, so we had a ton of y'all enter the drawing for the stencil. And then um, I just sent you a text that gave you another fun freebie. So um, for those of y'all that don't get my text yet, make sure you're getting them, okay? So I'm putting electric pink on here. Hey, Christina. Hey, Elizabeth. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're all here. I am creating a new painting while we are together. So I'm so excited. I hope it works out. Anybody in Paint Party Headquarters, if it does work out, you can use this for your paint parties. And then anybody who is not in Paint Party Headquarters, I don't mind if you paint it as long as you uh, don't use it to make money. If you're inside Paint Party Headquarters, then of course you can. Um, but for those of y'all that are not a part of that yet, make sure you're um, you know, just painting it for fun. And, oh, and then if you want the Paint Party playlist, we have 30 songs on a Spotify list for you for free so we put together the top 30 songs and that are like good to ensure that you have a good time at a paint party because how many of y'all have taught a paint party and there was like awkward silence anybody have that <laughs> i have had that before you gotta have good songs on one time i had a paint party that um i forgot my bluetooth speaker and so the owner of the restaurant had his dad's old iPod and it um, had like this most random music, but um, some of it, I was like, oh my gosh, I got to skip that. Like it was just <laughs> some random stuff. Some of it was like too mellow. Um, I remember years ago, I, I used to be so, I still love, still love her. Um, but there was a, oh my gosh, was it? No, it was the Misunderstood album with Pink, which I love still, by the way. I love Pink. Have any of y'all listened to that album? It's not perfect for a paint party. <laughs> so if you if you need to, it's too mellow. So if you need a good um, paint party playlist, I have one for free that we have put together for you. So the link is in the description. You can grab it right now for free. And then if you need to text me, you can text me so you'll know when I'm live. Okay, so I'm just getting all of this pink on here. And then I'm going to just add just for fun, just a little hint of this purple. Now this is no, I don't want to use that one. This one grape juice. Have y'all ever used grape juice? Hey, Philip, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you on here. Okay, have you ever used grape juice? If you have not, what we're gonna do is just take a little bit of it and just kind of like, just dot it on there, nothing major. And we just want to get kind of some whimsical kind of feeling in this painting. Now, this is gonna be a totally new type of painting for my snowman, okay? Usually I stick to all the traditional colors. And um, how many of y'all saw this video recently? It is almost at 2 million views on, on Reels. It's insane. It's gone totally viral just in the past couple of weeks. Um, it's insane. So what I was trying to do is think about, like, how could I do a new rendition of a snowman this year that has nothing to do with the traditional Christmas colors? So I'm going to show you a very, very easy way. And hopefully, if you want, you can try to mimic it. All right. And this is a giant canvas. Obviously, you don't have to paint on a canvas this big. That's not necessary. 
Um, let's see. Oh, Barbara, you're having trouble with it skipping. Is there anybody else having trouble with it skipping? Let me know if it's if it's just Barbara. Hopefully it's only Barbara. Hey, Pamela. Hey, BFF. Hey, Tammy. Oh, is it? Oh, Tammy says pink is a hot color for Christmas 2021. Awesome. Okay, Annie, this color pink, electric pink, electric pink for that. And then I just did a little hint of the grape juice. And this, y'all, I'm telling you, I have just barely any of that in there. And of course, I'm using the chip brush, so I'm getting a ton, a ton of texture. And for all of y'all that are just joining me, let me know if you are PPHQ. Just do hashtag PPHQ and let me know your business name. I'd love to give you a shout out. And then those of y'all that are new to me, please let me know. I would love to say hi. Oh, good. No skipping. Okay, good. Yay. Okay, great. Hopefully it's all working well. Yeah, sometimes the interweb, you just, you just never know. Okay, this is going to be fun. I'm going to have some texture. Okay. All right. So let me show you another trick. When I'm painting, especially when I'm painting live and I don't want to use the blow dryer, what I'll do, oh, we got Kaylee here. Jennifer, hello, hello. Um, is it Jenny? Oh, I think I see Jenny on here. Crafting Reimagined. Um, Rustic Easel. We have Penny with the art of Penny Lee. Um, let's see. Yvette, PPHQ newbie. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so y'all, this is a very easy way to dry your paint, but also if you have really cool texture on here, you can get kind of some neat textures and get your paint dried at the same time, which is kind of cool. So then you don't have to do the blow dryer, especially for those of y'all that are painting live, that are in the crafting, crafting world like me and you're painting live. By the way, how many of y'all have gone live yet? Let me know. I want to know. Let me know. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Robin. Okay, so there we go. We got that going on. And then I have no space. Oh, y'all want to see what I just got in? I'm so excited. I only have 10 of them. I only have 10, and they're sold out online. I'm so excited to paint this. Look. Ah, it's a brand new design. I'm freaking out. I only have 10. I'm going to paint it like really beautiful red and greens. I may, may sell eight of them on here, but I don't know if I'm going to do it. Okay. So what I'm going to take is just, this is a painting I did the other day and just a very quick painted prayer. What I have noticed is that people are loving and let me know if this is true with you too. And um, people are loving when you can take something and seriously like make a snowman out of paper plates and just very, very simple, simple shapes. So I'm going to show you a way to just take a random circle. Maybe you have an 18 inch circle. Um, and let me know if that's something that that you have done before to do a snowman. Paper plates, just tracing it. So we're actually going to bring this one down about right here. I need room for the hat. Okay. And I'm just going to take white paint and trace around it. Something so simple, okay? White paint, trace around it. I don't know why I like standing when I do this. <laughs> so y'all do that at your art studio. Let's see. Oh, Kristen, make sure you, um, there's a link and especially go in whatever, Whenever you're in Paint Party Headquarters, ask that question and our team will help you for sure. And um, let's see. Yes, paper plates and whatever I could find around. Yeah, those chargers are really, um, really good to use too. The chargers, we used those last year on some stuff. Okay, so I'm going to put like, we're going to have a couple here. Okay, so I'm going to do another of this 18 inch round. Oops, got that all over my chair. Okay, let me move this because I don't need it anymore. Okay, then I'm gonna grab a paper plate. Now, obviously I want his head a little, or her head and his head a little bit bigger than this. So I'm just gonna kind of get the position because I'm gonna have a scarf about right here. And then I'm gonna have the position of the next 
part of this snowman. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, but it gives me it gives me a little bit of playroom so I can kind of see where the circle goes. Can y'all see that okay with the white paint? Janet, yeah, I know, right? Sometimes I like I go to sit down and then I got to get back up. I got to move around. Got to move around. All right. And then we're going to have this scarf going about over here. I can have the placement of the scarf over here. So then we need the head about here. Okay, so we're going to make that a little oversized so this body kind of fits with it. And we're hoping this painting will turn out. This is still to be determined, okay? <laughs> this, is, this is still not sure if it's going to look cute or not. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I'm so glad you found me. That's awesome. Yeah, let me know if you're, um, yeah, so Chandra, we are definitely stenciling for sure. Okay, good, Julie. I'm glad. I feel like, um, I feel like part of my, my stuff is at working. Okay. All right. So I'm going to switch now. I'm going to grab another chip brush because I want to just get this filled in kind of fast. So I'm just going to grab it. And people always ask me like, how do you get paint out of your clothes? Y'all, I don't even try. I, I know there's ways and y'all can please, if you want to put your tips for how to get paint out of clothes on here, you can. And um, I honestly, I'm just too lazy to try to get paint out of my clothes because I'm painting pretty much every day. So I don't really, I don't really care too much if there's paint on my clothes. Um, like these are, oh, see like this tank top, like I just got white all over it. I don't care. It's fine. It's fine. So yeah, so if you have tips for getting paint out of your clothes, you can for sure do that. And for those of y'all that are new to me, um, oh, I'm so glad you're here, Colette. That's awesome. Hi, BFF. <laughs> for those of y'all that don't know what I'm talking about, y'all have been texting me, hey, BFF, and I do, um, I do text to let you know when I'm live. So if you want to write down my number, I'll text you when I'm live. And a lot of times we're doing, like today we have a fun giveaway of a paint party playlist. And so for anybody that is new to me, I teach you how to make money teaching paint parties or craft parties or Pinterest type parties. So there's so much fun, fun stuff, especially during the fourth quarter that you can um, have fun with. So I'm trying to come up with a new painting idea. I have it sketched out, but it's still to be determined if it's going to look cute or not. <laughs> Let's see. Heather says, ev ha ha, everything I own has paint on it. It's a way of advertising. Yes, Heather, that is a great way of advertising because then people know you're a painter. And then when they ask, they're like, what do you do? You're like, oh, I do paint parties. And then there you go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you want the playlist, um, all you have to do is grab it in the description. The playlist is in the description. And um, Julie says, hey, Julie, she says, rubbing alcohol will get the paint out of fabric, but you got to scrub a lot. <laughs> yeah, I have heard rubbing alcohol before, too. I, I have this, the pink soap. Somebody gave me this. And so I use that sometimes. Like, I tried to use it um, on my chair, but it didn't come out all the way. All right, so this pink is getting in here just a little, which is okay. It's not a bad thing. It's going to just have a little bit of shading with it. All right, there we go. So we have the basic of our, our snowman, snowman and snowwoman couple, okay? So I'm going to rinse this brush. Use an apron, Patty says. Yeah, that's a great idea, Patty. <laughs> I do. Oh, I just put my hair in it now. Now I have my hair with paint on it. Yeah, that's just, yeah, that's going to happen. That's, that's when you, you know you're an artist when your hair has paint in it, your clothes have paint in it. And the description, if you just, if you're on your phone, y'all, um, and you're trying to get the paint party playlist, this is for people who love doing paint parties and they need the best songs for it. We created a Spotify list spotify spotify list for you that you can actually download and it's our favorite songs for paint parties and um, so all you have to do is if you touch your phone you're going to see all the stuff in the description and right now that looks like mickey mouse but it is not going to be mickey mouse <laughs> it's not going to be janine says i've loved everything you've done nice to be so creative oh thank you so much i 
I hope it's going to be cute. We're going to see. I'm. It's to be determined. We're still we're still in the to be determined phase right now. Okay, so what I want to do is add some hats, some scarves, some other cute stuff. So I'm just going to go. Usually I wait to start adding the black until the end, but I really want to kind of get his top hat started. And I feel like I might not have left enough space. So I want to see where I'm at on that. So on this, dang it, I didn't wash my brush all the way. Oh my goodness. I am like getting paint in my hair, not washing my brush all the way. Because you're seeing me in my best, my best moments today. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's, it's like, some days just don't go as planned. Okay, so we're gonna have to have the top hat kind of go off the page, okay? And that's all right. So if that ever happens, just let it go off the page and then just fill it in. But I do love how that, that black and that pink are looking side by side. That's a great contrast. And for anybody that is trying to get their Christmas stuff, get it early oh my gosh we were trying to get fall and halloween stuff just a couple weeks ago and all the stores were sold out so um any christmas stuff i'm going to try to get like this month i know it seems crazy but everything is selling out earlier earlier than normal i know when we we were selling those sleighs just a few days ago they sold out so fast it was crazy thank you all so much for buying those and, and for all of y'all, all 140 of y'all that bought those sleighs before we turned it off, um, they, our entire freaking living room is like a warehouse. So please give us some grace. We are trying to get them out to y'all as fast as possible. And um, me, Bobby, and Pixie have been packing. And um, I actually have one of my former students over here the other day helping get the paint and stuff ready too. So um, just know that we are, we are trying to get it out as fast as we can. And then of course with shipping delays. So just give us some grace with that. I think I said three weeks at the beginning. So I just want y'all, I'd rather get it to you a little bit sooner than three weeks, but I can't make for sure promises because it's, it's been a little crazy. Okay. All right. So we kind of have the start of hats. Now what I'm going to do Again, I told y'all this was not going to be a traditional, this was not going to be a traditional snowman and snowwoman. We're doing kind of some different colors here with some turquoise and pinks. This is a bluegrass green. Bluegrass green. Oh, good, Amy. She says, I like it going off the page. Oh, that's good. Um, what size board? Okay, this is not plywood, Annie. Um, let me see. I can measure it for you. Oh, here it is. Okay. It's a really giant canvas. So when Michaels has their canvas on sale, see how thick this is? It's one of the um, one and a half inch thick. It's a giant one. So if you're doing this for a paint party, definitely make it like a 16 by 20. This one is 24 by 36. So this is a ginormous, ginormous painting. And I was going to do a 16 by 20, but I just wanted to paint big because I like to paint big sometimes. Y'all know I love, love painting big. This is a metallic teal. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of this kind of mixed together. And I'm just going to kind of bring down a scarf here. And just bring this over. We're going to have this kind of come right over here. Now you can see these paints are wet. So I'm painting wet on top of wet. So I might have to add a little bit of an additional coat to that. But I just want to have a scarf kind of coming off here. Ooh, I love those colors. Just kind of some whimsicalness, that teal with that pink. What do y'all think of the teal and the pink? And it is totally okay if you don't like it. Again, this is a work happening right now. <laughs> and for those of y'all that are new to me, you're like, what the heck is this lady doing? Um, 
sometimes I just like to, you know, try to come up with my paintings while I'm live with y'all. And then we see what happens. And then y'all give me feedback and give me some encouragement and possibly some suggestions. <laughs> it's all it's all good. <laughs> Okay, so we have that there. We're gonna have kind of like a fun little um, snow cap, kind of like a beanie. This is gonna hopefully be similar to like a beanie. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try that. What am I stepping on? Oh, there's so much trash in the studio. The studio was so clean, and now it's like a disaster. Oh, now now I have paint on my charger as well. Lovely, lovely. And let's see, pretty combo. It's like flamingos meet at the sea. Oh, Francesca, I love how you said that. That's so great. That would be cute. Like instead of my candy cane idea, I was going to have right here. Maybe I put two flamingos that are like doing a heart shape. That might be cool. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and do the same thing over here. I'm just going to keep it simple. Sometimes whenever you're painting designs, sometimes we try to get too crazy with too many colors. So y'all let me know if, let me know in the comments if you teach paint parties or if you're just painting for fun. So you can put both actually. I paint for fun and I teach paint parties. So let me know in the comments if you do just for fun or if you do paint parties because I would love to give y'all a few tips if you wanna, if you wanna know a little bit about some paint parties. Um, let's see. Oh, very cool about the Chamber of Commerce. Awesome. Okay, so Ann says both. Amy says both. Julie, Sonia says both. Heather says both. Teresa says just for fun. Oh my gosh, yeah, I I love it. So we've been, like I said, we've been packing those kits. We were down there earlier and I was like, y'all, I'm not made for shipping. I need to be back upstairs painting. <laughs> so they had to, Bobby and Pixie had to take Blue to the vet. And then um, when they get back, I'm going to go back downstairs and help. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this off, have a little bit of a scarf coming off here. I am loving this color combo. Okay, all right, so we kind of got the, the basis of it. Then we're going to start to make it look alive. Okay, let's see. Um, I painted yesterday, what a mess, but I love the painting. I'm very new for painting. It makes me laugh. Oh, that's great, Catherine. I'm so glad. And Hannah says, I paint professionally for my art business, but I want to learn to teach paint parties. Oh my gosh, I love that. So yes, I that's what I do. I teach you how to make money teaching paint parties. So if you want to know more, make sure two things you can do if you want to know more about teaching paint parties. Text me. We have a fun little thing. Text KBFF to this number. So if you want to screenshot it, I'll leave it up a couple more minutes. This will let you know anytime I go live to paint. So you can learn more tips from me. I share a ton of stuff. Um, and the second thing is, is we have a free paint party playlist. Okay. This is 30 of the top songs to play at your paint party to ensure that it is rocking, that it is, is good to go and it doesn't feel stale or boring. And music is a big, big part of you putting together a paint party. So you don't have to, we put it together for you. So if you wanna grab that, just touch your phone. You should see all the, the information and there's a link right there. You click on the link and just put your name and email and we will give you um, the paint party playlist that you can download to your Spotify for free right there. So if you want to grab it and you can grab it. Now, if you don't have Spotify, you will also get a PDF similar to this. So you can put it on whatever you have. And um, let's see. I love the text announcements when you go live. Oh, good, Elaine. I'm so glad. Yeah. If you're not getting, um, if you're not getting my text, make sure you are because it helps so much because then you can find it. And let's see, Trishonda says, hi, you can add brown leaves for the fall look. Oh, that would be so cute. Yeah, to make this kind of fallish. So, so cute. What a great idea. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start trying to get a little bit more white um, onto the snowman because I got a lot of pink in there. And I'm just going to add ooh, a little bit more. Got more paint somewhere it wasn't supposed to go. 
Lovely. Sorry about that. Oh, and the message of the day, I try to do a new message every time I go live and choose greatness. So the one I think a couple days ago was choose joy today and then today's choose greatness. Um, there was something, oh my gosh, I watched a show the other day. It was so inspiring to me. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of or what the quote was about. It had something to do with something else, but I thought, how cool would that be to be related to art? And it talked about like us as painters or even crafters, even if you don't, you know, consider yourself a fine artist. And, um, you know, a lot of times in the paint party business, you don't have to be this fine artist. You're painting and you're doing fun, crafty stuff. You're setting up an event. So a lot of times people have this like whole imposter syndrome that they can't do it. When really, as long as you can paint the basic, you can teach the basic. And um, because when you have paint parties, you're not doing like intense paintings. And so there was something about um, in the show and it talked about how, you know, there's so many things, you know, that can be taken away from you. Right. But your art and the, the way you spend time to create like that can never that can never be taken away from you. And yes, I got hair. I got paint in my hair again. Wonderful. Um, I just want to see you. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm seeing you. But it was just so crazy. Like I just thought about that and I thought, oh my gosh, no matter what happens in this world, I can always paint. I can always go to this place of of creating and this this kind of magic, magic place I feel like that that God's given me to heal and to to create and to connect. And so um wherever you're at in life, I just want you to know like if you're crafty or you're creative, like you have been given that that gift and that 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 feeling of wanting to do that for a reason. And so don't discount it. You know, I, I just did a post recently about my art studio and how for many, many years, you know, we we moved, I think, seven times before Pixie and um, Pixie's age now. I mean, we had so many different things happen with losing our house and all these crazy things and moving all the time and um, into different rent houses and apartments. And no matter where we were living, I always had a place to paint, whether that was my kitchen table, whether that was whatever it was like, you know, my husband, Bobby's so sweet. He always knew how important it was for me to have a place to paint. And so I don't care if you're painting on your kitchen table, your garage floor, like if this is something you love, you're going to find a place. <laughs> so let me know in the comments where you paint yours at. Like, are you painting in a garage? Are you painting on your kitchen table? And um, I know one lady I met, she paints with like a TV tray on her couch. And um, so I have painted everywhere and anywhere and um, outside <laughs> every, I mean, just, you just do what you got to do. And um, so I want y'all to know that like, never go, oh my gosh, well, you know, so-and-so has this or so-and-so has, don't, don't worry about that. Like, just be thankful that God gave you this way to heal and to, to create and to have fun. Um, how fun is it to like, just open a big canvas and throw a bunch of paint on here and do what we're doing right now. So I hope, I hope that you will maybe do this fun little painting. Maybe this, this will inspire you to go grab a big canvas and Use some little paper plates to trace out <laughs> because it's not going to be anything major. Okay, so we have that on there. Now, oh, let me go ahead and add while I have this going, the little beanie hat. Okay, so we got the little beanie hat up there and it'd be fun to add some snow text and glitter. What do y'all think? Julie says, I paint on my kitchen table. I have done that for many, many years. And we have garage studio. And Mary says, I agree. Do what you love anywhere. So, so true. And um, let's see. Oh, hey, Lisa from Louisiana. Hannah says, that's so true. My husband and I have had a spare bedroom that we share as a music art studio. Yeah, Hannah, I'm glad you said that. For uh, many years, I always felt like, oh, I, I got to have a guest room. And then I was like, you know what? <laughs> We've lived in some very, very small places. And um, and I thought, I'm not going to hold a guest room for the couple of times that people come over. I need that room for what I do every day. You know, I need that room for painting and creating. So, um, so yeah, we made a decision a long time ago. Now we're fortunate enough where we live in a house where we can have a guest room too. But um, all the years before, we never, we never had that 
luxury of like having one or the other. It was kind of like, well, if we had a guest room, then I was painting in the garage. And finally we got to the point where we were like, no, the guest room needs to be my art stuff <laughs> because that's what we're doing. We're doing the art stuff. Oh, I just had a brilliant idea. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll tell you all in a minute. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of, of lines here. I'm just taking the brush and just going back and forth like this. Okay. Back and forth like that. Oh, thank y'all for commenting. Um, let's see. Thank you for all you do. I'm so excited. Noreen says three classes scheduled. You provide such good stuff to help us all. Thank you. Oh, Noreen, thank you for saying that. And congratulations, y'all. Let's congratulate Noreen on her three parties. How cool is that? Make sure you get the playlist, Noreen. And um, make sure you get the playlist. So if you need those songs. Okay, so I'm just going to start grabbing this. And anybody who wants the playlist, you can get it for free today. It's my gift to you. All right, so I'm just grabbing this and bringing this down. Bringing it over. And I have a cool idea I didn't even think of until just a second ago. Based on a mistake that I did. I always used to tell my students, I taught art for 10 years. And I used to always tell them, turn a mistake into something good. Because you just never know what mistakes she'll make that end up turning into something better. And so um, when I was in college, I had this painting that was due. So I had my, I got my associates in art, which meant I took very, very, very few classes in art. And I had this one painting class where we had to do a monochromatic, which means all the same color. And I did kind of this self portrait of this um, purple girl and she was in all purple. And um, I stayed up because I procrastinated when I was younger. I waited till the last minute for everything. And um, I stayed up till like two or three in the morning. And then I was almost done. And I ended up dripping this paint right on her face. And um, it was all like light purples. And I dripped this big old plop of white paint right on her face. And I was like, oh my gosh, and I was so tired. And I had to get up at 8 a.m. to go drive to that class almost an hour away. And um, and I was like, oh, what am I going to do? And so I ended up making that white piece because it was kind of like an oil painting. So I made it like a piece of hair. And um, and I ended up getting an A on that that painting. And it made the, the painting actually look better. It just made it more interesting. And um, But when my professor grabbed it, he, um, it was oil painting, so it was all wet. So, of course, he knew that I had totally <laughs> waited and procrastinated. And he was like, you're getting an A, but you need to do this earlier so it will dry and not get all over my hands. I was like, oh, sorry, my bad. What do you expect? I was like 18, 19 years old. I was just trying to get it done. Okay, so we have some stuff going on there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add in the nose first, and then I'll put the stuff around the nose. All right, let's see. Heather says, I am having a paint party tomorrow teaching a bunch of my brother's friends. It should be interesting. All men. Oh, my gosh, Heather, please take pictures and let us see. That is going to be so funny. <laughs> I love that. Hey, Gidget, how are you? Oh, I'm so happy to see you on here. Hello, hello. And hey, Annette. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. Okay, so let me grab a little bit of... I'm going to use, um, okay, I'm going to let y'all choose. I have a feeling of what I want to use, but let me know. Do y'all think I should use the bright orange with this color scheme or the canyon orange with this color scheme? If you would please, please put your vote in and I will pick in the next 30 seconds. So canyon orange or bright orange. And to see the difference, we got that. It's like a pretty bright color orange, or we have canyon orange, which you can kind of see has like a little rusty to it. Okay, we got canyon, 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 bright, bright, canyon, canyon, can. Oh, I think canyon is overruled. Okay, all right, I'm gonna try it. All right, so let's do some canyon orange. I'm gonna go ahead and put the noses in now. Okay. And we will see what happens. Hopefully, I'll get this right the first time around. Sometimes when I'm painting live, I can jack it up. And it's not my finest moments. So please give me some grace as I try to make these noses. 
look correct. Okay. So again, painting a lot of wet paint on wet paint. I should do the paper towel for all of it, right? I'm going to get one of my friend Tamara. She has this heat gun. I saw her use the other day when we were doing a live together. I was like, oh man, I got to get, I got to get one of those. If you don't have one of those yet, let me know. We'll try to get you a link so y'all can get one. I got to order mine. Oh, I like the Canyon Orange. Good choice, y'all. Probably put a little bright on top of that even. Okay, so what I'm doing is just kind of finding the place in the middle, do it almost like a backwards C, and then bring in the nose through. So it is getting a little bit of that black because again, all of this is really wet still. So all you have to do is when you are painting wet on wet, all you have to do is just let it dry a minute and, and then go back and just pop another color on it. If you're doing this as a paint party, y'all, your guests are not going to be painting as fast as me and they're going to be letting stuff dry and I probably wouldn't give them the black till the very, very end. So I would have that as the last part. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some eyes. And we have, let's see. What? Alexa, stop. Sorry, I think Alexa thinks, oh, I wanted something. She thinks I wanted something. <laughs> yes, I have a blow dryer right behind me. I was trying to do this without having to get the blow dryer out. Okay, so you can do your eyes anyway. For simplistic reasons, I'm just going to do some cute eyes looking up. But you could do like oval eyes if you want. Um, you could do anything really. And then just start to put your, I always start with this first. So then it looks like they're singing. I'm in a store and I'm singing. Okay, and then you can just start adding a little bit as you go. So you kind of make that smile. Okay, so now you're just kind of making a little smile. Sorry, this part I concentrate on. I don't know why this part, it's like I. I have trouble talking while I'm doing the circles. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know why. I could talk doing all of it, but when I'm doing the circles, I'm like all of a sudden silent. <laughs> it's so strange. Let's see. Heat gun sale. Ooh, good, Ashley. Thank you. Yeah, Ashley's um, showing y'all there's a heat gun on sale at Harbor Freight right now. Great idea. I know. I need to um, get mine stacked for sure because I usually try on a blow dry and it's really annoying for everybody. Okay, so I'm going to just put in some buttons. Again, this is wet, so it's turning out a little gray, which I'm not mad about. So we have our buttons going down here. I'll let that go off the page a little bit. And then we have some buttons going right here. He's probably only going to show one button because of the placement. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more orange to that and just kind of um, add some fun details. So I had an idea. I was thinking instead of just white snow, it'd be kind of cool to do like a light turquoise snow. Um, so what do y'all think? The verdict. Let me know. So I'm thinking white snow with a little bit of turquoise. And Terry says, my Google Home started talking to how weird. <gasps> I wonder if it happened to a bunch of people. That's so strange. Um, let's see. Jeannie says, had a fun paint and pray party at my church for singles and couples, 20 people. And I'm doing the Raven and Pumpkins at the teens at church. So excited. Drew and Spine. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. Let's congratulate you. That is amazing. 20 people. That is such a big party. Make sure you have some help. I always say if you have more than 10 people, have some help because um, especially if it's your first time doing that event, you don't want to, um, even if you're brand new to painting, you don't want to um, do paint parties. You don't want to show them that, right? You want to like show up and show that you can do this and that way they'll want you back. That's awesome. Okay. Terry says, yes, a touch of turquoise. 
Um, Gidget says, I'm thinking this would be an 18 round would make a great door hanger. I think so too. Like put smash them together and make it. So here's kind of my, let me show you. Here's my design idea, but then I went totally off. So this was my design idea. I was going to do candy canes as a frame and then candy canes as a heart. Um, but I actually like back that I just kind of like went rogue. I went rogue. Sorry, y'all. Sometimes I just, I get excited and I want to, I just want to do different crazy colors and that's what happened. Okay. So we're going to do some, some turquoise and white snow, and then we'll add some details on here. I have never done turquoise snow before. I'm really excited. I feel like a kid right now. Have y'all ever done turquoise snow? <laughs> this will be my first time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the, the candy canes. Pixie's been giving me a lot of candy cane ideas because of with the sleighs, she's like, you should paint the side of the sleighs with candy canes. I was like, what a great idea. Um, obviously, I haven't done it yet, but I, I need to. And then I can show y'all. Let's paint it live on here and show y'all. Okay, so we have the snow. Now, here's the thing that's kind of weird sometimes about snow is um, you want to kind of place it. Like, sometimes you place it on top of places because, I mean, the snow's coming down. So, sometimes it seems weird, like, you shouldn't really put the dots in the project or on the summit, but you got to remember the snow is, is coming down everywhere. And then we'll add a little, little thing here in just a second. Okay. All right, let me see if I can add some more of that orange. I don't know if it's ready yet. I kind of like to paint with a lot of thick paint too. And remember, if you're just now jumping on, if you want a free gift, um, I'm giving you a 30 song list for your paint parties. It's a paint party playlist and you can have it for totally free. And the link is in the description. And um, if you have, if you have me on text, you can text me and ask for it. We'll, we'll get it to you that way. But the fastest way to get it is just to grab it right there in the description. Um, and it's a paint party playlist and it should automatically send it to you. And then on the thank you page, you'll have it where you can download it or you could add it to your Spotify. So you don't even have to create it. We have it created for you. So there's two different ways to get it. You can either get it on a PDF or you can download it. And um, will the song list be in the PPHQ guides? Yes, Deanna, they may already be there. So if you're in paint party headquarters and um, you probably already have access to this. So if you um, are in Paint Party Headquarters, go ahead and type in the search Paint Party Playlist um, or just ask in the thread um, and then we'll make sure you get it. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of white for the snow. I'm going to add a little bit bigger dots of the white. So I'm going to use the back of this brush. Again, dying. Why does it make me go quiet? Maybe it's so therapeutic. That's probably why. It's just so fun that I just kind of get into it. And then my brain is just thinking about other things. Yeah, this really is fun. Okay. Very, very fun. Okay, so another thing we can do is just kind of um, spruce this up a little bit. So I'm going to add some white lines. I'm going to add a little, um, a little banner, you know, not a banner, but like a little, um, cap thing for him. What is that thing called when you put it on a top hat? It's like right here, whatever this is. I'm going to get a little bit of that bluish color. See what it looks like here. Oh, that's fine because the the black's kind of mixing in, so it's giving it its own shade. Very fun. Okay, so since that's doing that a little bit, I'm gonna grab just a little bit of black and just kind of do the same thing over here. Give it a little bit of shade, 
And then I'm going to grab a little bit of that blue. Let's see if it'll, eh, I might need to do it with a little bit more black. Grab a little bit of black and just kind of almost like a, like a pumpkin. <laughs> All right. So we have this going on. I'm going to add a little bit of, of shade in here too, where the scarf is. Just on kind of one side. And if you don't like it, remember, you can either wipe it off with a baby wipe right away, or you can um, just let it dry and then paint right over it. So y'all, if any of this painting, if all of a sudden, like after I'm done talking to y'all and all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't like the turquoise snow, um, which may be my new favorite thing. But if I decide I don't like it, um, I, can, I can seriously like just dot over it with white or paint over it with something else or... What I'm probably going to do is just add glitter to the whole thing. That's probably going to be my choice. Um, just because that's how I like to do things. But, but yeah, never, never worry about like, oh, it's, you know, if I mess it up, it's, it was a waste of time. I used to have that, you know, feeling of like, oh, I'm going to waste so much time because I've messed up because I, I hate to waste time. And um, because I think because I, I have so many, so many things I want to do. <laughs> I feel like there's not enough hours in the day. Females, females feel like that. Am I the only one? <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Debbie. I know I already got white paint on it too. I got some white paint on this tank top. I just got this last summer. Um, yeah, but a lot of times, you know, we, we think, well, we're wasting time. I Now I, I kind of go like, is we're just experimenting. Like we're seeing what works, what doesn't work. Like right there, I got the snow and now it's going into there, but I kind of like it. So now I'm going to add a little bit of white over in here. So we're just going to start adding some white lines just in different places just to make it like a little bit more whimsical. I'm going to rinse this so it's a little bit more pure white. And um, Amy says, yes, glitter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, diamond dust, Kimberly. I love that. Yeah. How many of y'all have um, used glitter in your paintings? If you know me, you know, I love my, my turquoise, my glitter, my, um, 24 karat gold paint. Those are all some of my faves. And I think that's one of the best things you can bring to a paint party is um, your glitter, your snow text, especially for Christmas parties. You know, I think sometimes um, you have paint party hosts that may be a little stingy with their paint where I'm like, no, this is your time to play. Like, have fun. Um, I think when you treat your guests like and you have fun, I know there's, you know, I know there's times when you might have a party of, of 40 or 50 where it does have to be a little bit more careful or you're going to end up with, you know, a party that lasts 15 hours and no paint. But for the most part, you can pretty much, especially if you're doing parties of eight or 10, you can let them have fun and let them choose different colors. And then at the end, think if they did this, if everybody chose like a different color hat or a um, different color scarf, like how cool that would look, even for your marketing. You know, I think too, like sometimes it's almost like, sometimes people are like, oh, I don't want to do that. But then you think, well, think of the marketing, how cute your pictures are going to look for marketing. And for those of y'all that are running a paint party business, you know, you know, 90% of pretty much any business is marketing. And that's what I love, love, love teaching you about is because you gotta, you gotta maybe not love it so much at first, but you gotta know that that's part of the business. And that's what I love teaching artists because a lot of times I've found that creatives we love doing this because this is so fun <laughs> let me know if that's you like this part is so fun but then once you go oh my gosh I actually gotta market myself then people freak out and I'm like no 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 don't freak out it's okay I got you <laughs> don't freak out on that part it's, it's all right it's a learned skill anybody can learn it and I can teach you okay so we got some little stuff in here and um, let me see if I can add just a hint more of that orange it's because it's driving me nuts. And then I'm going to show you my favorite glitters. And then if you want, if you've liked this, please, please let me know in the comments. Let me know if you like seeing me paint a full tutorial live and um, let me know with a heart or a, um, 
you know, a, a feedback or whatever. And um, some people get on this page and they really just don't like for me to talk. Um, I apologize. You're probably not going to see me too many times where I'm not talking. Um, so if you are not loving this, then you might you might not want to be a part of a part of this page watching because um, I do I do like to talk and try to give tips and advice for your paint parties while while I'm on here. And um, let me grab a little bit of a liner brush. And then I want to do a couple, couple last things. This liner brush has been used and abused and actually still has paint dried up on it. Because I forgot to put it in the water. Oh, it's kind of working out for me. It's like, <laughs> it's like giving it that look of just, it'll be all right. It's going to be all right. Yeah, and then you can just put some little lines in there. And then I'm going to show you my favorite glitter that I've been using for a lot of paintings lately. I have never done turquoise snow. I'm, I'm still not sure about it. What do y'all think? Are we a yes on the turquoise snow or are we a no, 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 no? We need to get, to get rid of that. Just little scratches. Almost like little C's. Okay, let's see. Metallic turquoise might be a good choice. Oh yeah, that was part of, part of this was the metallic I had earlier. I wonder if the metallic, were you saying for the snow? Tashonda, I hope, I wonder if it was for the snow. Yes, it is. It is hard to paint while you talk. That is the truth for sure. If you've never painted while you've talked, um, especially on a Facebook Live, um, you should definitely try it. Um, it is a new experience. It took me a long time to get used to it. Okay, so this is one of my favorite. Let me see. Let me grab y'all real quick. I'm going to see if um, you want to see the mess behind the camera. <laughs> y'all ready? I'm going to try to grab this. And then, um, so this is my paint wall, which I love. And I try not to grab any paints from here unless I have to, because then I have to put them back. And I'm the worst, the worst at organizing. Um, as you can see, like all of my crap, like I just, I'm working in here so much that it just, it just never stays clean. So um, this is one of them, the silver and um, silver. I really want to use the clear. Um, I have every color for the, this is a new type of glitter, which is really cool. So there's turquoise. Oh, that might work. I got to put it back where it goes or I'll never do it. Green potion. Dazzling teal. Dazzling teal may work. Um, okay, so so dazzling teal. So the cool thing about this paint is it um it makes like a really, really like, I don't know, it's just it has these big chunks in it. So it makes it really, really glittery. And um, so let me show y'all my mess. <laughs> y'all want to see my mess? <laughs> yes, it is definitely a turquoise snow picture. I know I have never, I've never done this before. I think I'm very excited. I feel like they need some arms, but maybe I'll add that later. Um, okay, so here is my mess. So behind the camera, you can see just, just junk everywhere. We are in the middle of um, shipping 140 sleigh kits um, to a bunch of y'all that ordered. So thank you so much for your orders. We had no idea they were going to go that fast. Um, so I just want to say thank you. And we are actually trying to get them all packed and and we've had a couple of issues, so hopefully as soon as we get impacted, we will. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to say thank y'all so much for being here. If you have not texted me yet, text me. If you want to download the Paint Party playlist with 30 of our favorite songs, um, you will not only get the PDF right away, but you're also going to get... Um, oh, you're also going to get um, a Spotify list. So if you do have Spotify, you can immediately save it as a paint party playlist. And if you want to know when I go live next, go ahead and text me at this number. You can screenshot it and then text me and then I will let you know the next time I go live. And um, for those of y'all that are interested in learning more about paint parties, um, right now we um, Paint Party Headquarters, um, we have about 2,400 um, awesome members inside of Paint Party Headquarters where I teach them every month 
um, you know, with new new painting tutorials, all the marketing. And um, we won't open again till March of 2022. So if you do want in there, make sure you sign up for the playlist. And um, all you have to do is click, like if you touch your phone, <laughs> look at my hands. If you, this is when you know you're having some fun. If you touch the phone, the link will come up and then click the link um, and then it will tell you. Yeah, so if you want the playlist, and you have to kind of touch it or click the link or when I end this live, just go to the description. And then also, if you do text me and you can't find it, just text me and say, hey, can I get the Paint Party playlist? And then we'll send you the link for it. All right. I hope y'all had fun. Let me know again if you like this new painting. Um, I think I'm going to spruce it up a little bit with some glitter and maybe a few other details. And then all of y'all on PPHQ, um, I'll make sure to take a picture for y'all so y'all can have it too. All right. I will see y'all soon. Hope you have a great day.